Hello everyone, this is Rachel. If you've been here before, thank you for returning. If you're new here, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification to be notified of future tutorials. I upload a new crochet tutorial every Friday. Today's crochet tutorial will be for the Falling Leaves dishcloth. For this tutorial, I will be using a 4.0 millimeter crochet hook. I will be using, I love this cotton and the collar woods for my main collar. For my secondary collars I will be using I love this cotton and the collars red and the collar mango the collar antique gold and the collar forest. A list of supplies used will be in the description box below, as well as a link to the written pattern. Now let's get into this tutorial. To start this pattern, we will be using your main collar. For mine, that is woods. We will make a chain of 34. We will then place one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. We will place one half double crochet in each stitch across. We will have 32 half double crochets when we get to the end of this round. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have made your 32 half double crochets. For round two, we will turn our work and chain two. We will place one half double crochet in each of the next three stitches. And this chain two counts as your first stitch. We will then chain one and place one half double crochet in each of the next eight stitches. We will repeat these, the sequence of one chain one we will repeat the sequence of chain one followed by one half double crochet in the next eight stitches until four stitches remain. Pause the video and meet me back when you have four stitches remaining. When we get to the end and there are four stitches remaining, make a chain one. Place one half double crochet in each of the last four stitches. Don't forget to place your last half double crochet in that chain stitch, that beginning chain stitch from your last round. We will now turn our work. For round three, we will chain two. We will then work one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches, followed by a chain one. Place one half double crochet immediately in that next stitch. Don't skip that next stitch. We will then chain one, skip the chain stitch from the previous round, work a half double crochet in the next stitch which is the stitch after your chain one space. 
We will then chain one and work one half double crochet in each of the six next six stitches. We will then chain one, work one half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip that next chain one space, and work a half double crochet in the stitch after the chain one space. We will then chain one, and we will, will repeat the sequence of the chain one followed by one single crochet in each of the next six stitches. We'll then work a chain one, place a half double crochet in this stitch immediately after the last stitch. Chain one, skip the chain one space from the previous round and place one half double crochet in the stitch immediately after the chain one space. Chain one and work one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. We will then chain one, place one half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, and skip the chain one space from the previous round, work one half double crochet in that next stitch, chain one, and work one half double crochet in each of the last three stitches. And don't forget to work a half double crochet in that last chain two. We will then turn our work. We will have 32 half double crochets and 12 chain one spaces at the end of round three. We will turn our work and chain two. We will place one half double crochet in the first two stitches, followed by a chain one. We will then skip the chain one from the previous round and place a half double crochet in the next stitch. We will chain one, skip the chain one stitch again, and half double crochet in the next stitch. We will then chain one, skip the chain one space from the previous round, and place one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. We will chain one, skip the chain one space, place one half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain one from the previous round, half double crochet, chain one, Skip the chain one from the previous round and work six half double crochets 
work one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. Chain one, skip the chain one from the previous round, half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain one stitch, half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain one space, and place one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. We will chain one, skip the chain one space, work one half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain one space, work one half double crochet in the next stitch, chain one, skip the chain one space, and work one half double crochet in each of the last three remaining stitches. Remember to place your last stitch in that chain two from the previous round. And turn your work. We will have 32 half double crochets and 12 chain one spaces. Now for round five we will be working on the extreme drop stitch. We will start by making a half double crochet in the second stitch and a beginning half double crochet in the second stitch. So we will yarn over, insert our hook into the third stitch, yarn over, pull through. You will now have three loops on your hook and change your collar to your first secondary collar, your secondary collar that you'll be using first and pull through. Now we will be working over your yarn tail and your main collar. Now to begin the extreme drop stitch, we will yarn over, insert our hook into the chain one space from the previous round, yarn over and pull through, pull it up to height, yarn over, insert into the same chain space, yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height. We will have five loops on our hook yarn over and working in the first chain one space from two rounds below we'll insert our hook into the first chain space yarn over pull through pull up tight yarn over insert into the same chain one space yarn over pull through pull it up to height <clears throat> now working one round below that round you will see we have one chain space. We will be working in that chain space. Yarn over, insert your hook into the chain space. Yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height. Yarn over, insert into the chain, same chain space. Yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height. Yarn over, insert into the same chain space a third time. Yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height. Now working one round above that chain space, we will be working in the third chain space of one round above where we were just working. Insert our hook into the chain space, yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height, yarn over, insert your hook into the same chain space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and working in the row above that chain space, you will see the third chain space from the previous round. We will insert our hook, yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height, yarn over, insert into the same chain space, yarn over, pull through. We will have 23 loops on our hook. You will then yarn over, 
and pull through all the loops on your hook. Be careful, you don't want to drop your stitch. And then you will chain one. Now changing back to our primary collar, we will be working over our secondary collar. We will work one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. When you're working that last half double crochet, remember to change back to your secondary collar. Now we will be working over our primary collar again when working the extreme drop stitch. And again, to work the extreme drop stitch, we will be working over our main collar. We will yarn over and start our hook into the first chain space from the previous round. Yarn over and pull through, pull it up to height. Yarn over it and insert it into the same chain space. Yarn over and pull through. Now working two rounds below into the first chain space, we will insert our hook, yarn over and pull through, pull it up to height. Yarn over, insert into the same chain space. Yarn over, pull through, pull up to height. Now working in one round below where we're working now. See that one lonely chain space? We'll be working in that chain space. We will yarn over, insert into the chain space. Yarn over, pull through, pull it up to height. Yarn over, insert into the same chain space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, insert into the same chain space once more. Yarn over and pull through. Now working into the third chain space in the round right above the round you are now working in. Insert your hook, yarn over and pull through, pull it up to height. Yarn over, insert in the same chain space, yarn over and pull through, pull it up to height. Now working in the third chain space in the round above that one, you will yarn over, insert into the chain space, yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through, or yarn, insert your hook into the chain, chain space, yarn over and pull through. You will have 23 loops on your hook. We will now yarn over and pull through all 23 loops on your hook. Be careful and try not to drop your stitches. It can be kind of difficult chain one. Now changing back to our primary collar and working over our secondary collar, we will work one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. Make sure you're not missing the, that first stitch. It can be kind of tricky to find there. One half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. And then on that last half double crochet, we will change back to our secondary collar. We will be working our third extreme drop stitch. Each of the extreme drop stitches looks like a leaf. So each extreme drop leaf is a leaf. Now, continue working an extreme drop stitch followed by six half double crochet and then work one more extreme drop stitch. Pause the video here, work those stitches and return back when you have three stitches remaining. When we have three stitches remaining, we will change back to our main collar and working over our primary collar, 
We will place one half double crochet in each of the last three stitches. And remember that chain two counts as a stitch. You will then cut your secondary collar and continue on to round six. For round six, we will chain two. We will place one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. We will then place two half double crochets in the chain stitch from the extreme drop stitch. That little space right there. We will work one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches. followed by two half double crochets in the chain space or the in the chain stitch from the extreme drop stitch we will continue working one half double crochet in each of the next six stitches followed by two half double crochets in the chain stitch from the extreme drop stitch until three stitches remain. Pause the video here and meet me back when you've reached the end when you have three stitches remaining. When we've reached the last three stitches we'll place one half double crochet in each of the last three stitches. We will have 32 half double crochets at the end of round 6. We will turn our work. For round 7 we will chain 1. We will place one single crochet in each stitch across. We will have 32 single crochets at the end of round 7. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have worked all 32 single crochets. We will now repeat rounds 2 through 7 for a total of 3 more times. We will change our collars on the extreme drop stitch round as directed. I will change mine next to the mango collar for my next extreme drop stitch round. And then for the extreme drop stitch round after that, I will change it to red. And then for my last extreme drop stitch round, I will change it to green. So go ahead and pause the video here. Work rounds two through seven three more times. And meet me back when you have completed all of those rounds. This is how your work should look at the end of round 25. The, you can see how the extreme drop stitch can look like leaves. I started my first row of extreme drop stitches with antique gold. My second was with the mango. My third was with the red. And my last row of extended drop stitches was with the forest. Now To begin round 26, we will make a single crochet in the same stitch that you worked your last single crochet in. We will not turn our work. We will work a single crochet in the first stitch and we are working along the side of our work. 
This is the last row worked. We are now working along the side. After your single crochet, we will make a single crochet increase in the next stitch. Followed by a single crochet in the next stitch and a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue to work one single crochet in the next stitch followed by one single crochet increase in the next stitch until we reach the first corner. Pause the video here and meet me back when you have reached the corner. Now working along the bottom edge we will work a single crochet increase in the first stitch. We will then work one single crochet in each stitch across until we reach the last stitch. Pause the video here and when you have reached the next corner, meet me back here. When we have reached the last stitch, we will work a single crochet increase in the last stitch. It will be the chain 2. Now working along the third side, we will work it like we did the second side. We will make one single crochet in the first stitch, followed by a single crochet increase in the next stitch. We will continue working one single crochet followed by one single crochet increase until we reach the next corner. Pause the video here and meet me back when you've reached the next corner. When you have worked your last stitch, we will join it to that first single crochet in the following row in the corner. We will not work single crochets in this row since there's already a row of single crochets. You will now finish off your work and weave in your ends. This is how your finished dishcloth should look. If you like this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing and hit the bell notification to be notified of future tutorials. I upload a new crochet tutorial every Friday. Happy crocheting!